Ahoy, Let's Watchers! It's me, your valiant Captain Vasco, and welcome back to the world of Skylands. Or Skylanders. Technically, it's called Skylands, but it's sort of the world of the Skylanders, because they're the people of the Skylands. I'm gonna leave that one alone. So, uh, in the last episode, we explored the two branching pathways of the Perilous Pastures, and uh, I got this fancy party hat from my friend Phoenix Wright. But, uh, you know, it's, we've gone through two levels, when, and I still haven't showed off my entire team, so most of today, I think I'll be showing off new characters. So why don't we start that right now, and switch to... Oh, I don't know, how about... Alduin! Yes, I know Alduin is a girl Skylander. Well, Cinder is her actual Skylander name, and Alduin is a male dragon from the Skyrim series. But the fact that they're undead powered dragons of awesomeness is a video game connection too awesome for me to pass up. Anyway, she has primary attack of breathing like a beam of lightning. It's pretty sweet. Oh, and uh, you know how like when you attack sheep with Spyro, like they get all charred, like they're, you know, cartoon exploded? Well, when you hit them with uh, Cinder's attack, they puff up from static electricity. I think that's neat. Anyway, let's destroy these brambles so we can get on to the next level and move on with the story. It would help if I could aim properly. Um, so yeah, basically you can use pretty much attack any attack against these. Um, touching them doesn't hurt you. They called them brambles, so the first time I played through this I tried to avoid touching them, but yeah, you can... don't worry about it. You can do whatever you want here. Uh, Alright, I forgot to mention that uh, Cinder's second attack is this uh, charge move that uh, can you can use it to either quickly get her out of the way of danger or, you know, advance quickly into combat. Uh, it also leaves behind ghosts that do slight amounts of damage. You did it! And wow! Not only will that far viewer help us see distant lands, but it also functions as a sheep launching device. It's marvelous. Here, I hope it slices, I'll dices, and makes julienne fries on the side. Pretty much a telescope, but a lot more magical. This one's a little rusty, but it should be able to show us exactly where we need to go next. That's the magic part. Yes, I see it right now. I'm glad we the specified. The first eternal source we need, air. The core of light was powered by all the eternal sources. If we can acquire that air source, we will be well on our way to rebuilding it. It's the stormy stronghold. The evil Dro must have recovered the eternal air source, but something has gone wrong. The whole place is being blown apart. These things probably wouldn't happen if you gonna didn't name some. your place the stormy something stronghold. That Just putting will that push out there. Me through the storm. You mean like a propeller, genius? No, no. Nothing like that. <laughs> oh, you are so cute when you're flirting with me. Oh, I've got it. We need some kind of a propeller. Really? Really? Fine. Everyone knows the Dro patrol the Sky Schooner docks. Their elite airship will have the propeller we need. Tell you what, Brain Trust. You get back to your balloon. I'll mark it on the map with a big crayon. Hey! I like crayons! This is a very important mission. Go find Flynn when you're ready to depart. Say, listen, if you're looking for adventure, I'm your girl. But adventure takes a lot of preparation. If you or any of your Skylander friends need some training before heading out, I might have some challenges that will do the trick. Come and see me. Uh, there will be time to show off the challenges later, I think. Um, for anyone paying close attention, you can actually see things like... Uh, treasure or certain objects that you can like move around in the uh, in the sort of overworld in cutscenes if they happen in the right place so some of those coins left over for me destroying the bramble were just floating in the background I find that kind of funny um, but yeah this thing pretty much just looks like a telescope but acts like a plot device and the plot device part is magic which makes sense um, yeah, I would say that Cinder is easily one of my two favorite Skylanders. Um, she's pretty great. So, you know, I may be giving her some preferential treatment later on, fair warning. But, uh, I think it's time to go talk to our friend Flynn, who likes crayons. 
so we can advance into the wild blue with Skyland's greatest pilot? Um, well, I'm not sure that you're that guy, but sure, let's go. Aces. Let's go. It's probably a poor decision to get in his balloon with the female Skylander, in fairness. Oh, yeah, that's two for me. But who's counting? Oh, yeah, I am. Um, but yeah, so basically, we need to get to this place called the Stormy Stronghold in order to get the first eternal source of elemental power. All we need power. to do is find their elite airship, take it down, and steal their golden propeller. See? Simple. This is gonna be a piece of cake, especially for heroes like us. Heroes who like cake. Ooh, I am a hero who likes cake. Perhaps Flynn knows me better than I thought. Um, but yeah, basically, as he sort of touched on there, the idea is we have to take down an airship and use its magical propeller to be able to get close enough to the thing we need in order to actually obtain it. Now this starting area sort of has that thing I was mentioning last time. Sometimes there's just barrels and stuff around to give you some free treasure at the start of the level. Uh, right. They want me to show off the Skylander's info screen. So, I press select. You can check out the stats. Um, you know, health speed, armor, your critical hit rate, although I'm really not sure. I don't think that's like a percentage, so I'm not sure how that factors in. And then elemental power, which I'm also not really sure how that factors in. Um, then power sort of shows you what upgrades that you've already unlocked for this character. And these two jewels next to each other down here represent where the your like upgrade path will branch later on. And I'll get into that in more detail when it becomes important. And then here we have the management screen, which lets you change the nicknames, which is how I was able to name my characters after video game characters. Uh, hats let you change the hats, uh, which I think I showed off last time, um, just whenever you want to change them. Ownership, um, I don't know, if, uh, if you want to give one of your Skylanders to a friend or something, you can change the ownership so that, uh, it registers with your save file and counts towards your challenges and your collection, which I'll probably also get into in better detail later. And web code gives you information to synchronize your character to the online Skylanders thing, which I'm probably not going to go into in very much detail, but um, if you buy a Skylander, they sort of explain in some of the packaging that comes with it how to do that, if you're interested. But what I'm interested in doing is um, fighting the forces of evil. Evil Drow. Whoosh! Too slow, elf. Oh man. Alduin is amazing. Oh. Drop some treasure. Crap. Oh, Skylanders of it's the a tech fairy, it would seem. In this zone. I don't know where she was off to. That's a lie, I kind of know where she was off to. But I'm going to act like I don't. Because I don't like spoilers, so I'm not spoiling anything for you guys. I should be paying more attention. Whoosh! So yeah, as I said, uh... Your dash attack with uh, Cinder leaves behind some ghost characters, and touching them causes small amounts of damage to any enemy who comes in contact with them. Man, this thing is just puking out little... God, I've already forgotten what they're called. Those stupid grunt things. They're dumb. Chompies? Yeah, I think they're called chompies. They're not... they're not important. They'll continue to show up through the game, but they're dumb. You, you kind of have to try to, like, take any serious damage from them. But they can easily get in a shot or two. Um, you know, if you're not paying close attention. Um, so I've taken some damage, so let's eat some watermelon. And why not some cake, because I'm probably not coming back here. Let's drop down below, and before we do that, let's blow up all these boxes and pick up some extra treasure. Since I haven't played with Alduin yet, uh, she didn't have any treasure to start with, so she needs to catch up with some of the others. Now, we learned something interesting about the Skylanders you in this level. To shoot down the Once again, we get into one of these cannons, and we play a mini-game where we're firing away. Uh, if you fire at these gems, you'll pick up some extra treasure when you uh, get out of the turret after shooting all the enemies. But you have to be careful, because if you spend too much time doing that, then you'll take damage from the enemy airships, and you may be booted out of the cannon and lose any treasure that you've bothered accumulating over that time. 
It also slows you down because you just end up having to do this section more than once. Uh, as I pointed out before, each elemental type of Skylander has a different projectile. Uh, since Cinder is an undead Skylander, she shoots weird glowing skulls out of these turrets. Um, so that's charming, you know, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh look, a whole bunch of treasure floaty doodads. Yeah, I said doodads, what of it? Alright, enough of, of me doing that thing I told you not to do. I'm starting to take some damage. This first one you got a little bit more leeway than with the um, later attempts to do the same thing. This is sort of a recurring theme through the level. Um, but yeah, as I started saying, we learned that uh, the Skylanders are pretty amazing marksmen. Because it doesn't really matter which Skylander you use for this section. Uh, when you shoot them down, you manage to shoot them in such a way that they crash directly into that gate blocking your path. I mean, that's that takes some skill. It really does. Um, Makes you wonder why more of the Skylanders aren't using guns. I mean, Trigger Happy knows what he's doing. Ooh, a new enemy type. Here's the Drow Witch. She, uh, she has those, like, Xena discs. For anyone who's seen... Oh, that was lame. I was totally dodging that. Uh, but yeah, for anyone who's seen Xena Warrior Princess, that's pretty much what we're dealing with here. From this, uh, witch character. Now that she's taken care of... More treasure! Now, I know it might seem a little bit obsessive for me to try and collect all of this treasure, but I believe it's at the end of this level it will start making sense why I'm gathering all of this. Up to this point, you could easily wonder, what is it good for? Because I haven't used it for anything. Well, I haven't actually unlocked the ability to use it for anything, or I would have shown it off by now. I promise. Ooh, now there's two witches trying to team up on me. I gotta be like that, witch. Give me your precious experience orbs. And take on this witch, too. Oh, she went back down this way, trying to trick me. Trying to trick me, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. At least she gave me a coin. Now, something I want to caution you about is, uh, this is a drop-off here at the end of this path. So, you want to be sure to head off into this area before progressing any further in that direction. Otherwise, you'll miss out on all the goodies behind this undead Skylander gate. This is one of the reasons I wanted to show off Alduin today. Alright, so we have more of these uh, spinning blades to dodge, or to maneuver around. It's probably slightly more accurate. Uh, we saw these earlier in uh, the first level, actually. can actually be pretty tricky to avoid all of them at various points. But, uh, Cinder's actually a pretty good one to use because her, uh... Yeah, I messed that up. Okay, fine. But yeah, you can use her, um, Ghostly Dash Maneuver, whose official name I've forgotten, I apologize. But, uh, you could use that maneuver to duck under the blades if you're at a pinch. And you're, you know, not terrible at timing everything you do like I am. Uh, if you have that problem, unfortunately there's nothing I can do for you, because I certainly haven't managed to solve it for myself. Um, I thought there was something further over in that direction, but I suppose I was wrong. Hmm, I think I've gotten myself turned around somehow. Hold on. Oh no. I just forgot that I needed to do that step next. Um, so yeah, the first time that you encounter that uh, teleporter, you're probably not going to want to take it, because you'll want to have the key before taking it, otherwise you'll have to backtrack past it again in order to get the key to unlock this gate. Uh, right here we have one of the treasure chests for the level. Always nice. As I said, treasure's gonna be really useful, I promise. And then, uh, through this gate, we have something else exciting. Oh, it would help if I would use it properly. Unfortunately, since you, uh, can't use... You can't maneuver the camera in this game uh, at any point. So uh, when you're when you're looking to try and like avoid the blades when you're jumping up into a section like that, uh, it's tricky because there's there's not a good way to time it because you can't see where the blades are before you make your jump. However, uh, even taking just minimal damage, you can easily find your way over here to the propeller cap. And since Alduin isn't wearing a hat yet, sure, 
That looks kind of goofy. But uh, I believe that covers everything in this area, so this warp should take us back to the start. And we can continue through the level by dropping down that path I pointed out earlier. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I'm trying to... Oh, good. More witches. There's one thing I thought that I needed in my life. There's more witches. Lord knows that's not true. Alright. So, take care of these enemies, get some more experience for your characters. We're still dealing with fairly simple enemies, although later in the game, I have to admit that uh, the enemies definitely get stronger and become challenging, despite the fact that this is a game geared towards children. Uh, you know what, I think before we head off into this section, I'm going to switch to a new friend that we haven't seen before. And I choose you, Guile. Guile's actual Skylander name is Sonic Boom. Uh, hopefully you understand the logical connection between the nickname with that much information. It's a Street Fighter reference if you don't, but uh, if you don't already get it, then you're probably not going to understand why I think that's a funny joke. Um, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward, just like last time, you have an opportunity to pick up a little bit of extra treasure, but uh, as you progress through the level, each time you have one of these sections, it gets a little bit harder to uh, avoid taking damage. So, you know, you don't want to mess around too much, especially in the last one, but we're not there yet. Now, we're dealing with a heavy airship this time, uh, which deals us more damage and takes more damage itself before we can crash it into the gate that's blocking our way. But it's still pretty simple to uh, take it out and continue through the level. Alright, now let's show off uh, Sonic Boom's basic skills. Uh, she's got this Sonic Screech attack, which uh, I think it has a little bit of knockback, which is good because then you can pair it with her secondary attack, which is a projectile egg, that when it hits something, it hatches into a baby version of herself. Which Skylanders is a little bit weird, I'm gonna be honest. Stronger in this ah, level. and since she's a sky element, or air element Skylander, easy to confuse that. Uh, we've got a new enemy here, Air Spell Punk. They, uh... Oh, that was mean. Why, why were my babies able to, like, advance during that cutscene in order to get slaughtered? That's really messed up. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's it's kind of a weird skill set for her, but luckily she's an Air Skylander, so she gets a bonus in this area to make up for some of her babies being kind of mercilessly attacked just there. You could sort of uh, miss out on this scroll if you hurry through this section quickly and don't pay attention to it, but here we go, here's our story scroll for the level. For as long as anyone can remember, the Skylanders have been friends with fairies. Perhaps this is because fairies can turn treasure into a kind of upgrade magic that gives Skylanders exciting new powers and abilities, plus ah. delightfully fresh breath. Starting to see where we're going with this treasure and that fairy we saw earlier, and me being able to do something with the treasure after this level? No? Don't worry about it. We'll figure it out later on. Um, but yeah, y you may notice that uh, Guile is already almost up to her second level, and I've only been using her for a matter of minutes. That's because, you know, as I've pointed out in the past, you sort of get uh, bonus pickups when you're in an area that matches your Skylander's type. So, here we are in an Air Skylander area, and defeating those enemies gave her a pretty big experience boost, which is nice. Which means she's going to catch up to the others in terms of experience at least much more quickly. Here's an area where you have to be careful, because we've got two witches who have shown in the past. Look at that, she's already leveled up. But uh, the witches can be fairly tricky to dodge their attacks. They're not going to deal you a ton of damage, but they can still be tricky and, you know, it's nice not to take damage. But uh, when they're backed up by the air spell punks, uh, they're, pro they're protected from your projectile attacks, making it harder to kill them as well. Let's see, I feel like I remember there being something over here, and I'm correct. And look who it is! It's Sonic Boom! She just picked up her own soul gem! Very convenient, she'll want that later. 
Now, this ability isn't actually terribly useful, but I find it really cute, so I'm definitely going to purchase it at some point. Don't worry about that. Uh, no, we don't need to preview her, because I'm going to be showing her off throughout this Let's Play. However, something that we should do is show off, I believe, the last member of the team who's gone unnoticed. My Earth Skylander, Garchomp! Also known as Terrafin to anyone who collects Skylanders. I've named him after the Land Shark Pokemon because he is a shark of the Earth element and has this peculiar ability to swim under the ground. Skylanders of the Earth element are stronger in this zone. Now, I really like this ability because he mutters like ridiculous gibberish to himself as he's going underground, and I find it amusing every time that I see it. Um, so yeah, his primary abilities are a punch attack, which he has the uh, combo ability like Stealth Elf does, for anyone paying close attention. Does like a swirling fist attack when, uh, when that comes up. And his secondary ability is Spurrow Underground, but he also has a belly flop attack he can use uh, by using his primary attack button while underground. Now, here's a section that you have to be careful of, because there's a lot of these, like, tiny islands surrounded by these floating circular rock formations. Um, I'm gonna take a minute here to gather some extra treasure, because, you know, I'm a pirate, I think I'm entitled. Um, but the thing you want to watch out for is if you bounce into the flying rocks, then you'll sort of be deflected from the island you're trying to get onto, which can cause you problems. Uh, that, that time I got a little lucky, because I didn't time that particularly well. But uh, this next one is one of the more tricky jumps to manage, so let's see if I can do it. Got a little bit lucky again there, gonna be honest. Um, one thing that you'll want to notice, it's easy to miss this, and I think I can reach it from here. Let's see... I need the jump first? Hold on one second. But if, uh, if you look below this island that I'm on now, you will notice... Dang. Oh, I think I have to, like, fall off this. Yeah, okay. So there's an instance where you may want to mess up that jump, because then you'll fall down here and get this treasure chest. Which, you know, if you're going for completion of the collectibles, as I am, you'll want to get that. Plus, additional treasure is going to be a really helpful thing. And again, we'll be seeing shortly why that is the case. Alright, so one jump... Whoa, that didn't go properly. Hang on. Jump... Oh, nope, that's not quite right. Jump... All right, now here's here's the trickiest of all the ones in this section to manage, because there's, is that, I think that's, oh, I think that's only two levels of rocks, but they're spinning at different speeds in different directions. It's fairly tricky to find an opening. Uh, now, oh bother, I almost had that too. It was very close. Uh, if I mess this up too bad, I'll just cut to when I do it. But I think I can manage it. I'm not that dumb. Well, I like to believe I'm not that dumb. Try again! Dang it! Come on. It's kind of difficult to manage directing yourself in the air during these jumps. Oh, that was just... that was not my fault. Uh, I found myself on a platform with some enemies, so, you know, free experience, I guess. I forgot that that was there, but uh, you can also end up there. Uh, I've read that people who are playing for completion of all of the things for the level, including, um, the... what is it called? Hold on one second. It's called the completion challenge with the... what is it called? The enemy goal. The enemy goal gives some people problems here because apparently, uh, the level... I'm not exactly sure how the enemy goal works. But I did manage to get through those floating rocks and find myself a Jester's Hat, which I will gladly add to my Garchomp to give him some street cred. But uh, with that completed, we can go back to, you know, the actual level at hand. Skylanders of the um, but yeah, a tip for anyone playing for the completion list uh, and the enemy goal. Apparently, the level counts that... Uh, I think we're going to have a conversation here. Hello, extremely! So much fun that the Skylanders are back. We fairies always dance with Skylanders. 
I am Persephone. Oh dear, not it again, silly dro. I'd best go back to the core of light. I will meet you there later for dancing. Happy luck, great Skylander. Technically, you can't really go to the core of light right now since it doesn't exist in any way, shape, or form. Um, but as I was saying, for people trying to complete this level for completion, which I've said that horrible phrase like six times now without finishing my thought, um, that, uh, I forget what it's called, but the, uh, the thing that generates the chompies, that plant creature, the one that I fell down and accidentally encountered, that one counts towards your goal. So you're gonna want to fight that one. So remember that there's that hidden one. And one of the nice things about my friend Garchomp here is that if he doesn't get attacked while trying to go underground, he's shielded from damage while underground. Um, so he, sort of like Cinder's Dodge, he's got an effective way to avoid taking damage. Um, it's one of the reasons I like... Ow. Ow. I'm doing really poorly here. I'm just gonna spam punches, because I was trying not to be a jerk about it, but that guy was being a huge jerk to me, so he can shut up about it. Um, so yeah, you're gonna want to remember that this plank is here uh, while you're playing through the level yourself, and you'll see why in a minute. It doesn't, it won't open until I've defeated all the enemies here. Um, sorry, obsessive about treasure. But, uh, yeah, once you've defeated all these enemies, not only will this plank here, at this end of the ship, um, descend and allow you to progress through the level, but the one at the start of the ship will open up some bonus collectible space. I punch you! Alright, see, there you go. That plank's down, but don't forget... Uh, I think that might be a drop-off point there, where there's one coming up, because I think if you go too far, you can't come back here. So keep that in mind, and just try to remember to do this as soon as you can. So there's some barrels full of treasure, that's kind of exciting. Then this warp opens up, takes you to another one of these chompy-making plants, which again, I've forgotten the name of. More opportunities for treasure in these barrels. There's nothing actually on this island of importance, other than this teleporter, which takes you to the legendary treasure of the level. This pair of winged shoes! The Wild Runners, as they're called. Now, there's actually a treasure that comes with one of the, uh, the bonus level add-on packs. The, I believe they're called Adventure Packs. Um, which emulates those magical winged boots. They speed up your Skylanders. Uh, I'll go over those items. As I said, I have all of the Adventure Pack levels, so I'll be going over those at some point, and I will try to remember to go over the items when I'm in the appropriate level. So I'm only going to use the items um, in the same level they come with, so that if you just want to play one of those levels, you'll know what you're dealing with, and I won't be like using tools that you don't have access to. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. I know I'm a little bit mm, scatterbrained right now for some reason. I love his muttering. He's ridiculous. This is the elite airship. Yes, yes, I understand. We're getting close to the end of the level, so things getting scary. Destroy the heavy airship. Now, I suggest trying not to mess around too much here. There's going to be some support airships which you could take down, you know, as easily as you could before. But you're going to want to focus most of your fire on the Elite Airship, because it's going to take a serious beating, and it's going to deal you some serious punishment if you mess around here. Um, as I pointed out in the past, every type, elemental type of Skylander has a different projectile in these cannons. And uh, the Earth Skylanders, such as Garchomp here, they fire rocks covered in dirt. Hey look, a golden propeller! Where did I hear something about a golden propeller recently? Alright, it's the reason I came here. Now let me just make sure I've covered all the collectibles for the level. I believe I have. And it looks like I have. So we're in good shape to head down this plank. 
and pick up that item. Although trying not to do it before picking up some extra treasure. Come on. Aw, oh, fell off the level. Sad face. One of the nice things about the belly flop attack, that uh, Terrafin, which is his Skylander name, I forget if I mentioned that. Uh, but one of the nice things about the belly flop attack is that it does sort of attack enemies in all directions of him. So, you know, if you're being swarmed by enemies, that's a good attack to use. Oh, that's impressive. Almost as impressive as me. Boom! Boom. <laughs> well, now we should be able to fly even higher. Come on, let's get back so I can get to work. We'll slap this baby on, fly on up to the uh, impenetrable stronghold, pick up the eternal air thingy, and then be back in time for my date with Callie. If she doesn't faint from anticipation first. <laughs> I am looking forward to getting that eternal air thingy. All right, so another level completed. Say goodbye to the Sky Schooner docks. Luckily, I've collected the Soul Gem from one of the characters on my team, which means eventually I'll be able to unlock her ability, which is nice. And now I believe it's time to show off Happy how to that dance works. In this old place, here is bright and smooth, with many secret parties. We'll play here for a while time. Before you mm, leave, time. I will help you. I will. I will. So she's gonna hang out in this weird, dilapidated. I can see you hit it on the sphere. Strange girl, that one. Seems to be immune to my charms. Poor thing. I think you misunderstand well, what strange means. It's time to install this propeller, so why don't you cool your jets? Take a load off. Instead of doing that, I'm also going to point out here, just because I'm thinking of it, that uh, the burrowing technique of Terrafin is also faster than him walking, so it's a good way to get around levels quickly as opposed to his really slow and awkward walking speed. But, here we go. Here's Persephone. As I said, she's set up in this weird metal structure here. And you can press Y to talk to her. Extremely once more. And she talks for in her weird fairy friends, language for a little bit. I will help you with your play quest. And she asks you if you would like to upgrade. And here's where you can put your treasure to good use. Um... For Terrafin here, I have 500 gold from him that I've collected over the course of that past level. And with it, I can unlock Brass Knuckles, which uh, increases the power of his punch attacks, which seems like a pretty sweet deal. Why don't we do that? The magic is right inside you now. Even when you leave Skylands and turn back into a statue, the magic will be with you so you can play happy wherever you go. Forever you will dance with the new happy powers. That's her crazy aloof woman way of saying that uh, if you take your figure somewhere else and play, say, co-op with a friend, you'll still be able to use any techniques or abilities that you've unlocked um, at the shop in your own game. They save to the figure rather than to the save file, which is true of most of the stats of the Skylanders figures slash characters. So, um, you know, it's consistent. It's not actually an odd thing. Uh, let's, uh, let's buy one more upgrade. Who do we have some money for? How about you, Phoenix Wright? I would like to upgrade. So let's see, I have 768 gold, which means that I can either buy the ability to guide my teleportation, which means I can do it in one of four directions instead of defaulting to directly ahead of where I start my teleportation, or I could increase the amount of damage that the flamethrower attack does. I think the guided teleportation will be more useful by itself, so let's go ahead and buy that one. And, um, let's show that one off. It's kind of hard to show off the fact that the Brass Knuckles are doing more damage for Terrafin. But it's pretty easy to show off that I can now choose one of four directions to teleport into. It's nice because it's easier to dodge enemies in battle, or to, you know, just have more precise attacks and target an enemy with your teleportation, even if they're on the move. So, that's a nice upgrade to have. Um, but yeah, that should just about do it for this episode. Uh, join me next time when we try to collect the eternal air thingy.
as, uh, as Flynn so eloquently put it. And uh, we'll probably spend a little bit more time upgrading some of our Skylanders. This episode's just running a little long already. So, thank you for joining me here in Skylands, and I hope to see you next time as we begin to reassemble the Core of Light. Have a good one, guys.